In this video, I'm going to talk about this Ryobi One Plus 18 gauge brad nailer. I personally love Ryobi. I have a ton of their tools, so it was an easy decision to buy this one because it is battery powered. And if you're watching this video, you probably like Ryobi too, or you're considering looking for a brad nailer like this. Um, I'm just going to run down all of the stuff with this, show you a little a couple safety things and cool features for this gun. So the very first thing, anytime you're working on a gun like this, make sure that the battery is not in. Uh, the first step with a good place to start is to load the nails. So to load the nails, this is what holds them. You press right here and this will unlock and you can pull this down and these are the nails that it takes. It takes up to two and an eighth inch nails from five eighths to two and an eighth and make sure the head goes towards the gun and the point goes out this way. You push them all the way up this way and then this is on a spring. This is a cool little feature. This green right here if it is not there, you have plenty of nails, but as the nails are shot out, it'll let you know that you should get more nails. And then if it's all green, you're completely out of nails. It also has a uh, shut off, a dry fire um, safety feature, basically, that it won't dry fire the gun if there's no nails in here. So you push this up and lock it into place and you're all set with nails. Right here, it has a no mar tip, which means it's not going to mess up any trim. Um, you can actually replace this just by grabbing it like this and pulling it out. And look at this. Very cool. It has an extra tip right here. We don't need it, so we're just going to throw this one back on. Just hook it on like this and you're good to go. So let me show you shooting this thing. Regular battery. This is a super, super duper, uh, I like to call it, uh, lithium plus. Just load it up like this. And then this button right here is kind of a mystery. I've done a lot of research and all I can figure out I've even, even read the manual and it says that this is the LED uh, activator switch. So you push this and the LED will come on and apparently that activates the gun, but you don't really need to press that. That's the only one that you need to press, but it will not fire unless you're up against your workpiece. So as with anything, be precautious when doing this, that you push down and then pull the trigger and it shoots a nail. You don't have to hook up a hose or a compressor or any of that stuff. That's all you have to do. So I'm going to take this back out while we explore some other features of this just to be safe. If you want uh, to change the depth and uh, the power that the nail is going into the wood, this right here is the air pressure. There is actually a cylinder in here that builds up air pressure really quick and shoots the nail each time. And this is on max pressure. If you wanted the head to not go in so far, say compared to you're shooting into a hardwood, max pressure, say you're shooting into pine, which is a softwood, you would turn the pressure down like this. And then you can even fine tune it with this right here. You can see if you go down, It'll sink the nails in further, and if you dial this up, it will not sink the nails in as much. If you happen to jam, get a nail jammed in here where it's stuck in your piece of wood and you're trying to pull the gun off and it just won't, take the battery out first, and then you can pull up on this right here. And you should take the rest of those nails out so they don't pop out like that and release this and you can clear the jam however you have to. If you have to take some pliers, pull the stuff out, the nail might pop right out once you release this 
And then to reinstall it, push this down, and then this goes like this, hooks on, and then push that right down. Reinstall these nails. This also has a spot, just like a lot of Ryobi tools, right here that you put a hook on, um, you put a bolt into with a hook, and you can hook it on your tool belt or on your clothing and keep it on your person while you're working. All right here, it says flashing light indicates low battery or troubleshooting needed. So if, that's another cool feature of this is it has a light for when you're working, but if the light is flashing on and off, then either your battery is low, you gotta charge it, or there is something else wrong. And lastly, a feature that it has right here, kind of hard to see, but if you have it where the switch is like this, that is a single shot, and this is a multiple shot, or not exactly a multiple shot, but this is what it does basically. So a single shot, you need to push this down and then pull the trigger and it'll shoot. If you hold the trigger, it won't do anything. So now on the other setting, what you can do is hold the trigger and then push. If you have a whole bunch of stuff to nail off, you can do it that way. I like to keep it on single just for safety purposes. But that is about it for this 18 gauge brad nailer. So if you have one and you wanted to find out how to use it, I hope this video helps. And if you want one, you're considering it, I'll leave a link in the description over to where you can get it. Thanks for watching.